Previously on Power Slap Road to the Title, light heavyweight Devin Schwan received some devastating news. We got a medical report back, and you're not going to be medically cleared to compete. Oh. Putting his rematch against Vern Cathy in jeopardy. You can amputate whatever the f you want. Find him with one hand. I want it more than anything in the world. The fighters were re ranked. Damn. Oh. Igniting a near brawl between oh, Aziel and Caris. I'm ranked number two. What boy? What boy? Then the second round of the competition kicked off with a bang. Oh. Oh, man. He ain't got up. As Robert Trujillo, Emmanuel Muniz, and John Davis walked away with victories. Now, get ready for the last four fights. It's showtime. It's game time. Before the finale matchups are set, Curry Sarcher brings his rage to the stage. Yeah, little boy, I hope you're ready, because I'm about to put your little ass to bed. I'm not playing no games with you. Night, night. Let me out. Looking to finally silence smack talker Aziel Rodriguez. Curry, I'm coming for you. I'm going to break your jaw. I don't give a who you are. I'm going to you up. Oh! Oh! Welterweights collide as Jewel Scott goes for his third straight win. I'm ready to eat. As he faces Jesus Gaspar. Jules, you're underestimating the wrong person. I'm coming for that knockout. Vern Cathy finally gets his moment to shine. I have the power. I got a great swing. But who will he face? You're going to get your ass knocked out. Then it's number one versus number two in an epic welterweight showdown. KO Chris Thomas. I'm a lion. I'm the Leo. I'm the lion, bitch. Faces slap Jesus Michael Smith. I'm still undefeated. Still the bad here. One last shot to secure a ranking, a spot in the live finale on March 11th, and the ultimate glory, a power slap world title. Azael Rodriguez yeah. versus Carice Archer. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, baby! It's game time. It's show time. It's game time. It's my time. Let's go. Azael Blue, Carice Red. Let's go! Move back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Woo! Red, Carice, winner. Oh! Strike first? Yes, sir. Red will strike first. Azael has had a target on his back since the first night he moved into the house. This kid has definitely been a pain in the ass, but despite all of that, he was able to pull off a solid win against Emmanuel Munez and shoot up to number two in our middleweight ranking. Let's go! He will be going up against our number six middleweight, Carice. Three fouls. Disqualification. Who was not really tested in his first match with his opponent, Nikolai, fouling out, but he did show that he's got a good chin and good technique. Both these guys have strong, explosive personalities, so this should be a fun one. Get my blood pumping this time, yeah. I won, I won the coin toss. 184. Oh. I was actually surprised that I won. So I'm like, I'm really soaking this up and I want to get him done in the first slap. You know, I don't want to be going back and forth. I want to just go in there and slap him to sleep. Yeah. Crease yeah. does not have what it takes to put me down. So um, what I'm going to do is just eat it and give him the match that he probably doesn't want. Good luck tomorrow, too. Yeah, let's make that happen. We're going to make that happen. Yeah, sweet thing, sweet thing. I've said it since day one. I've been wanting Caris. For the most part, I'm a good person. But once you cross the line, I'm going to do what I have to do to make you my bitch. All his uh, hype or whatever he's trying to do is just all for the cameras. But I know deep down he's scared. And now we come with all the stuff going on in the house against Isaiah and then him wanting to prove himself as a man and he thinking that I'm the ultimate test, I want to be able to give him that, you know, because 
He's not ready for what I'm about to deliver on his ass, you know? There's no way he can hurt me. <laughs> Your son Jesus, name I pray, amen. Thank God, hallelujah. Amen. My goal is to break his jaw. I don't respect Carice at all anymore. I, I thought I knew Carice, and now I know the real Carice. He's a snake, he's a fake, um, he's just not a good person. Carice, I'm coming for you, I'm gonna f you up, I'm gonna break your f jaw, I don't give a f who you are, I'm gonna f you up. Who do what? I hope y'all work the game changer tonight, because if you don't know, you go find out. He's in the wrong waters. I'm a real shark, and I bite, and I'm here to eat, and I'm hungry, and I'm not gonna let him take what I rightfully earned. Let me at him! A dog gotta eat! Yeah, little boy, I hope you're ready, because I'm about to put your little ass to bed. I'm not playing no games with you, night, night. Right, one. Red is gonna be going right on one, okay? You're gonna use your measure, right? That's okay. my measure right Thank here. Thank you. There you go. Legal. Legal. Okay. You have time to recover? Good job, man. What right. hand, what number? Right hand on three. Blue chooses right hand on three, okay? You must measure, you must measure. That's your measure. One, two, <laughs> legal slap. Okay, you have time. You have time to recover, sir. I got that dog in me, boy. You must go know. But you about to find out. This is round two, slap one. Red chooses left hand one. Okay? Measure. Oh, no. pivot. Uh, come on, call him pivot. We've got a striker foul. Come on, get up. There you go, bud. I don't look confused, brother. We've got a red foul stepping. Like I said, man, he, he pivoted you, big time on that. Yeah, so, so if that. you keep it clean from now on, you got that. That's, he's losing good, that point. Man. So you got, all you have to do is keep it clean. OK, come right in here. You good? I'm good. Hand and number, please. Right on three. Right on three. Measure. That is your measure. One, two. <laughs> Sit the <laughs> down! Sit the <laughs> down, you down. Four. Five. Five. Great job, man. One more, Ryan. And a number. 12, Left one. Left one. Eight, seven, six, five. There you go. Oh, there you go. Clubbing. Stay in there. Stay in there. Red. Clubbing. Clubbing. Come here. You don't belong in this Come here. Come here. You don't belong in this
Right on three. Hand and number. Right on three. Blue chooses right on three. Okay, you must measure. That's your measure. That's one. That's two. Sit the down. Sit the down. Three. Sit the down. Three. Sit the four. What did I tell you? Stop talking to me, dog. Six. Yes. Talk no. That's it. That's all you do. That's it. That's all you do. I'm here for a reason. Hey. I'm here for a reason. Stop, 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 stop. Hey, man, it's come over. here. Stop. Reese was very, very upset with the loss. He ended up switching hands. You know, he was started with his left and then went right. And after that, and why would you want to cause damage on one side and then go to the other side where there's no damage and then start over, basically? So I think him switching up his technique mid-fight is what caused those fouls. I think Reese was trying to get at Isaiah for the trash talking. and. That's why I was telling him he wasn't helping himself, you know, just take the W, you know, let it play that. Winner by TKO, Azael Rodriguez. Ah! Yes. Thank you so much, Chris. <laughs> Big letdown, you know, I want to really win. Azael has some very good slaps on him, you know. I felt like I took it like a man. I felt like I, I took it right on the chin, you know, so, and I got right back up. I've hit you, you get up. I'm just super happy that I was able to put him on his ass because that's what I came here to do today. I just proved that I'm one of the best slappers in the house, so I'm just gonna keep on doing my thing. Hopefully I get invited for a belt match and let's keep on doing what we do best. Carice and Aziel had a serious beef heading into this fight, but I think uh, Aziel put an end to that. That was a convincing win and proof that he absolutely deserves the number two ranking and probably a spot in the finals, but we'll see. How are you guys doing? Uh, all right, Dev, so I just got a, I got a call from Frank. Okay. Um, he said the retest on your thing. He didn't tell me any details. He just said that, uh, unfortunately, obviously, that precludes you from being able to fight tomorrow. OK. And well, I mean, I just have to have you pack your stuff up. OK. Say goodbyes. We're going to have a hotel for you tonight. OK. We had Devin Schwan go through another round of medicals. And unfortunately for him, the results did not improve. So. We're having him gather his things, leave the competition, and now we're gonna have to find someone else who can fight Vern Cathy. Guys, I'm out of here. I got 20 minutes. What the uh, I'm sorry, bro. Damn, this happens to us every time. It's like the, the fight that's never meant to be, but I wish him the best, and I'll come for him later. Don't you be sorry. sorry. Don't you be sorry, you got me here. And I respect that, 100% respect that. I'm only here because of him, and without him, I would have never been on this show or had a fight or anything. I'm here because of you. We're gonna get it, man. We'll get it. We'll finish right. this out. No one can say that they've done this. This is power slap one, you know? Like, this is, it's amazing. Remember me. <laughs> I already know I'm the hardest hitter here. I'm gonna be champion, like, soon. It won't take me long. At welterweight, Jesus Gaspar versus Jewel Scott. Oh. Uh -oh. We Should have changed his name to Sir Flinch a lot. We both flinched. No, I ain't Jesus no both flinching. blue, flinch. Ain't Jewel red. Flinching, but you flinch, flinch. It's all you, Jesus. You got this, brother. No, you don't. Don't lie to him. It's over, Rover. Right. It's blue. I'll submit right. first. Let's go. I got my coin toss, baby. Let's do it. Let's go, baby. Showtime, baby. Hey, Zeus is getting one more chance at this, and now is the time for him to show us what he's got. <sighs> Flinch foul. 
Carice was calling him out at the weigh-in for all the flinching violations. You could tell Jesus was pissed. But the bottom line is this. If he had cut back on the fouls, he may have a couple wins under his belt. So let's see if he can do it in this fight. 169. Jewel is our number three welterweight and one of the favorites in the welterweight division. Due to an injury, Blue cannot continue. We didn't get to see much of him after his last opponent, Andrew. He broke his hand during their fight. But what I do know is that this guy wants it more than anything. So look for him to come out aggressive and looking for that knockout. 168. Oh. Don't flinch. I got $500, you flinch. Carice, you's a punk ass bitch. Everybody thinks I'm the underdog because I'm not as bad as these but I know what I got. I know I got heart, I know I got chin, and I know I ain't backing down. Good luck tomorrow. You just spectate. You watch a real <laughs> You watch a real professional go to work. There's levels to this. He gets first slap, I lost the coin toss. It's gonna hurt, but I'm gonna take it on the chin like a man and be unfazed. It's gonna hurt, I'll be unfazed. I'm an animal, I'm hard, going beast mode. This then I'm gonna knock the living the out of him with the first hit. <laughs> He's gonna throw his next little shot, I'm gonna take it, and then I'm gonna sink his ass. I was so happy when they announced Jules. Jules is over here trying to like belittle me and trying to underestimate me. And I'm just like, oh man, I love it because I'm actually going to swing at him really hard. I'm going for that knockout. I'm going to stand for him like a stone wall and I'm going to eat all those shots. And I hope Jules eats all my shots because all that bragging, all that talking, everybody just, OK, now it's showtime. I don't think he has the power to knock me out. I think you need to be above 205 to knock me out. Jules, you underestimated the wrong person. I'm coming for that knockout. Be ready. You haven't faced no one as tough as me. I feel a little bit disrespected. He thinks he's going to beat me. I'm here. This is my home. I'm gonna finish him in two. I'm gonna slap the out of this dude. Hey, Zeus, you better be ready, big dog. Cause you with a man this time. And I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. Right three. Okay, blue, right on three. Okay? You must measure first, okay? That's your measure. One, two. Here you go. Club. Legal. That was high. Legal. That was high. Big bro, big bro, hit that button, you hear me? Good. Right, Random number. right on three. Okay, red, right Ooh. on three. You must measure. Okay? Yes, sir. Watching this kid clench his up. Look at his jaw muscle. I know. Looks like he just ate a lemon. Illegal! That was on the two. Then three. Hit the lower on the jaw. One point. Did not hit on the correct number. Okay? That's right. That's right. Step in. You're right, three. Okay. Stay set, do not move. Round two, right, right on three. One, two. There you go, there you go. Legal. Woo! With the nose, too. You see, he almost <laughs> fell backwards with that. He's that man got too much power for such a small body. And he's just trying to keep his feet still. That's what we told him to do, keep their yeah. feet still. So he did great. Right three. OK, you must measure. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's go, big bro. Right three. That is your measure. Let's go! Let's go. Mm. One, mm. two. Mm. Oh! Legal. Ate it! Go. Nice. Go. 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 That was all in his eye. 
Look at his eye. He got me on my eye. Shut your bitch ass up. Boy, I beat your ass the other night. Time out. See, that's perfect. Egregious. Miss call. Put the replay on. Yep, I love it. I should have tried not to stop it. Hey, innocent till proven guilty. It was after contact. Right. Innocent till proven guilty. Team Wolverine, baby. Way to take yes, it, sir. though, man. Way to take it. Come in here. OK, after review, there is a red striker foul, OK? Stepping. One point red stepping. Hand and number. Right three. OK, round three. Right three you must measure, OK? That's your measure. One, two, legal. Get this. You punched the out of me. It was That's straight punch. That's what it looks punch. like, man. It was straight punch. Way to eat them. I ain't get no review on that. You can even hear the sound of it, but you know. That, it was no slap. Yeah, it's all right. It's straight all right. punch. It's all good. Jewel has to knock out Jesus to win this fight now. He's got to knock him out now. Hey, bud, just take one more, man. You got this. Come on, Jesus. Hey, Eat this, man. Angle your, angle your hand better. Angle your hand. Right three. Right three. This is round three. He hits like a twig, dog. Big bro, hit that button. You hear me? That's your measure. <clears throat> one, <clears throat> two, <clears throat> three. Here we go. Yo, come on, stay up, stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. I joke, but these <laughs> got balls. One point red. Stepping. You got stuck, bitch. Cut this, you stuck, bitch. You get shut the bitch. I'm gonna beat your house. You bitch. You got knocked out. No, 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 no. Great, great. You got knocked out. No, 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 no. Freeze, freeze. Bro, I'm gonna you up, bro. What, hey, bitch? Y'all can't, can't even fight. Y'all can't even fight, bro. You ain't gonna do <laughs> bro. All that <laughs> talking, bitch. You got KO. Bro, I'm gonna beat y'all ass, bro. Them dog. They can't even fight. That's why they doing it. Yeah, bitch. Woo! My biggest win in my life, the big time, the big show. Yeah, bro. I'm a feeling amazing. They were talking so much at the house. I'm a humble person. I wait until showtime. And what, what happened today was showtime. Team Wolverine made sure that, hey, we're going to keep this sport safe. We're going to keep our feet planted, and we're not going to hurt the other people just because we can. We're gonna try to blow up this sport as much as possible. Okay, winner by disqualification because of three striker fouls, Jesus Gaspar. I let my emotions get the best of me. I abandoned all that I practiced and tried to just go hard and it failed me. Sorry, guys. Thank you, Good job, thank Joel. you, bro. Good job, Joel. He did not beat me. The referee clearly said disqualification. That was due to my stupidity. I shouldn't have abandoned what I know. Uh, my fault, he can keep talking You're gonna see me again, buddy. Wow, with everything riding on this one fight, Jesus sucks it up, takes the shots without flinching, and lets Jewel make the mistakes. One stepping foul was missed by the ref, but they caught it on the video replay. Jewel lost the point. Jewel was sloppy the entire fight, and Jesus walks away with a massive win here. And this kid has some heart. Who the Yo, what's up, man? What up, big dog? What's what your name, do? bro? Amir. My name's Amir Nuruddin, 22 years old, and I'm from Spokane, Washington. What do they say you're fighting at? Uh, light heavy. A light heavy 205? Yeah. I have no idea who I'm going against, and to be honest with you, it don't really matter. Anyone in this house can get it for me. Amir, nice to meet you. Amir? Yeah. With Devin and Russell Rivera both out of the house,
we knew we needed to bring in another light heavyweight to face Vern. He's 200. No, he's not 200. He's still, bro. Luckily, we had a prospect, Amir, waiting in the wings, and he told us he was ready to go, so we're going to give him a shot. You ever slept before? Uh, when I got here, and that's it. Oh, dude, I'm not uh, even going to be at open gym to help him. I've never competed in a slap contest before. I honestly, I, I think I'm going to do pretty good. I'm not even going to lie to you. I got these massive ass hands, crazy biceps. I'm going to put this guy's lights out. And what class? Uh, light heavyweight. Awesome. His name's Amir. You know, he's taller than me. He looks well built. Uh, they told me he's got some MMA background. Hey, you want to show me around? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, as soon as I saw him, I was like, I go, has he been away from his family? Has he not had his phone? Has he not had this? Like, I'm Does like. He, did he have to weigh in twice and cut weight twice and not fight? Yeah, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, oh, you're going to get a free ride? You're going to get a free smack upside your head so bad? Kill him. <laughs> like, hmm. This is probably the most I've been pissed off before an event because, you know, I just can't stand last moment changes and no one telling me what's going on and it just it just brought me to a breaking point oh god that oh, boy's gonna get a rude awakening it's if so i bad. get the coin toss you're gonna see one <laughs> eating grin on my face it's gonna be great all right here's the crew Hi. have a great fiance four kids all right now we're heading to thanksgiving everyone ready yeah life's really good i grew up on a farm and that lifestyle, it's, it's different than, you know, growing up in the city. So this is one of our farms. We have two machine shops. My grandparents live in that house, and then my uncle lives over here in this house. I'm not saying it's better or worse, but my dad, literally, he only lives like a mile away. See my parents and, you know, my siblings, it's good. I love to, to be around, around good people, and they are good people. I've always been gifted. I mean, I don't train as much as most people, but in the Highland Games, a 16-pound chain ball, I mean, I can throw it like, you know, 70-some feet. You know, people don't think that much until you pick something up 16 pounds. Like, go to the gym next time, pick up a 15-pound dumbbell, and see if you can chunk it 75 feet. Today, I got to finish putting that motor into that guy. And just everything, like I'm a mechanic, everything I do is heavy. And it's true, like, people can say whatever they want, Midwest guys that grew up on a farm, we are just different. Said light heavyweight, Vernon Cathy versus Amir Nuruddin. Let's go, Uncle Nelson. Give him Uncle Nelson. Vern blue, Amir red. Blue. Strike Going first. first. Okay, on the scale. I won the coin toss, and at that moment, I just knew. I was like, this is not good for him. Vern's a one hit wonder. Vern Cathy was initially our number one pick at light heavyweight. During the exhibitions, he absolutely demolished his opponent, Devin Schwan, and we're really looking forward to the rematch. 196 and a half. Now Devin is gone, Vern will be facing newcomer Amir who was able to step in last minute. Woo! He's not Devin, he's not Devin. 189. Let's go, Vern. We don't know too much about him, but you never know. This could, could come in and surprise us all. Let's find out. Go. Yep, good luck, boys. Tune in because it's gonna be a war. A war, I swear to God. Old blood versus new blood, it's gonna be crazy. Burn won the coin toss and he gets the slap first. He's gonna have to hit me with a kitchen sink, knock me out the first one, or else it's gonna be three rounds of hell for him, I swear. Amir's gonna give me everything he has, and I, I applaud him for that. Do I think it's enough? No. I have the power, I got a great swing. Now that we've been working on the footwork, I think I'm just as good with my power and I'll have proper techniques, so I'm excited. I'm gonna knock him out just like I knocked out Devin. Amir, I think he's going to probably wish he wouldn't have done this on short notice. I think it's gonna be an eye-opening experience for him. Amir, you came to the house late and you're gonna get your ass knocked out. This rocking ass mullet, ain't nobody got one like me in the house. And then I'm gonna bring this crazy palm to Vern's face, too. 
Burn, you better bring everything you got on that first lap, dog, because it's going to take all three for you to knock me out. And if I get more than one, it's over for you, I promise you. All right, Blue, you won the toss. You got to go first. What hand on what count? Right on three. OK. Round one, slap one, right hand on three. Measure. One, two, five. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. 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 Greatest slap of all time. Foul. Are you foul? They're reviewing it right now. Okay. okay. You know, if uh, if it's deemed a fair blow, then it's a knockout. But if it isn't, it's a DQ. Yes, so sir. Just, I understand. Uh, I'm giving you the heads up. It's not for everybody. Not for sure. After further review, it was deemed a legal blow. Winner by first round KO, Blue Corner. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All the power that Vern has translates from the Highland Games over to Power Slap. He's already got the motion down. All Vern had to learn to do was keep his feet still. So to have a guy his size throw his weight around like that is just pretty amazing to watch in person. I've been working on that all week uh, about making sure I plant, you know? And that's why I was like, I was like, I didn't move, you know? My right foot was planted and they're like, no, your, your left came up just a little bit. You know, we don't know what happened. We got to go to the replay. So everyone did their job and it worked out great. Amir took this fight on short notice, which is absolutely impressive, but the poor guy had to go against one of the toughest, most vicious strikers here in Vern. The replay showed that it was clean. A one slap knockout and one of the best I've ever seen in this competition. And that's saying a lot after watching AJ's knockout. Vern has a huge future in power slap. There is no doubt in my mind, this guy is unbelievable. Put some respect on that name. He went against KO Chris. Yeah, KO Chris. Don't have a he's gonna see. He's gonna get exposed. I'm gonna expose KO Chris. Okay. No, you're not. Yes, I am, Chris. And if you got something to say about it, I had to poke the bear and um, you know let it be known that I'm not number two. You know, I'm number one. You I don't you got to knock in here. Yeah. You're a yeah. tough, bro. Yeah. I'll eat you alive. Yeah, we'll see. I will. We'll see. Gorilla. We'll see, buddy. Uh, we'll see. Go to bed, bro. Mm. Go to bed, bitch. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. make you my bitch. I'm going to make yeah. you my bitch, boy. There's a lot of going, talking going on between me and Mike. And he's really loud about it. And it takes a lot for me not to like talk back to people. I just don't want my kids to see that it's OK to act a fool anytime somebody goes off like that. Hey, go to Please, make me, 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 make Calm and simple for the rest of the couple days, but I know he's gonna try to get under my skin. And uh, we all did get an opportunity here of a lifetime, and I'm not trying to, you know, piss it away. Come on, you know, any time That's why you took on me because you want to PC up in that way, you little I bitch. I ain't gonna PC up to slap at you. Yeah, I'll beat the at you. I ain't gonna beat the at you. You ain't gonna beat the up. Hey, bitch. Hey. 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 Whoa, man! You f you, man! You f you, man! I'm a what? You f my bitch, huh? Come on, get done! 
Yeah, look at your little girly ass hair. Yeah. That's why you got dropped on uh, your ass. Yeah, you I didn't get dropped. It's okay. I'm gonna be dropped dead, dad. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah, ass gonna bitch. Be on my list. Hey, Bill. You're a. Christopher Thomas versus Michael Smith. Oh, yeah. Blue. Box blue. Red. All right, gentlemen. Blue and red. Blue. Winner, Christopher Thomas. Woo. It's very, very bad news that I'm going first, because I guarantee he probably won't even come back up. So you're going to take the hit, right? Because he ain't dropping me, baby. So I'm going to give the hit. Yeah. Last, but certainly not least, we have the highlight machine and number one welterweight, KO Chris Thomas. <laughs> this guy has been absolutely crushing everyone and taking no prisoners. Muscle don't wait. Oh, 169. Yeah. He'll be facing number two ranked welterweight, Slap Jesus. And there's no love lost between these guys. Uh, they've been going at it in the house. And now, once and for all, they get to settle their differences. 162. Woo! He's gonna get it, boy. You can't touch him. I'm gonna smash him. I'm gonna smash him with a slap. Go, boy. Good luck, boys. All right. Mike, slap Jesus Smith, dude, you ran your mouth over and over and over to me, dude. This is what the you get. I'm going, baby. Going on, bro. That's okay. Your boy is number one. Boom. I'm about to be the first champion in this bitch. Like, they let Pandora out the box, baby. We are who we are, but that dude's insane to me. Hey, Mike Smith, you bit off more you can chew, right, bitch? I'm lying. I'm the Leo. I'm the lion, bitch. No rest I was I'm still undefeated. Still the baddest here. Give me your best. I'm going to give you better. I mean, it's a win it, baby. You know, he handles his business. He's just not, he's under me. I ain't got out of boy. Gonna get it, boy. Daddy should have whooped you. Line up, my friend. Hair back. Blue, you're going first. What hand on what count? Right on three. First round, Blue is going right hand on three. I'm gonna measure. Fair blow, down! You got He's out. Four, hey, eight, five, six, he's out. He's out. seven, good eight, good job, man. Nine, yeah, he's out. ten. Oh, good job. Who's over? Who? 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 Over, dude. KO, baby. My KO. Incredible. When Chris knocked out Slap Jesus, it was kind of like. You know, seeing the sunrise for the first time, seeing this glorious moment of this guy who talks so much crap on this other guy, just being super, super unprofessional. And Chris is one of those guys who's just ready to come in and stand and bang with anybody. And that's exactly what he did. Just open your mouth for me. Close. Chris has been taking a lot of crap from Michael. Michael's been trying to get in his head, and they've just been going back and forth. Like I said, that's what made this match so anticipated for everybody on, on, on my team. Winner by knockout, blue corner, Christopher. We don't get time. 
Thank you, brother. Thank you guys for putting on this for us, man. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Frankie. Frank. Thank you guys. Yeah, number one welterweight in the world, baby. That's how I do it. Oh, I'm pumped. Very personal. You know, he came out of his way to talk to me this week. I don't I don't even get it still to this day, but you know, you just gotta cut people off when they act like that because it's you know that's some sketchy ass. Keep running your mouth, Mike! Keep running! Anybody else wants to run the mouth? Come see me! Come see me! It's part of the game, man. I'm humble in victory, humble in defeat. I don't think um, the better man won tonight. Y'all stay tuned to the Mike Smooth Show because there's more to come, baby. I always get mine. What a badass final fight. Number two, Slap Jesus versus number one, Chris Thomas. A huge rivalry has grown between these two welterweights, and Thomas comes out and knocks Jesus out on the first slap. So he was number one to start, and he'll finish at number one. A statement win for Chris Thomas and the perfect final fight of what has been an incredible competition. After all was said and done, Frank Hunter and I sat down, made the final rankings for each division, and set up the final matchups for the live championship fights on March 11th. All right, guys, I'm going to call you guys up here for the title fights. First fight at welterweight, Chris versus Jesus. Whoa! No! That's my dog. That's number one. He has always supported me, always had faith in me, and it's an honor to fight with Chris. That's all love, brother. I respect him because he's a good hard kid. The matchup, it does look like a little uneven. He said he promised me a good match. I told him to work hard and get strong and practice his technique, so we'll see. The middleweight. Aziel. Yeah, versus John. I am not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna sit John down. <laughs> I know he's gonna hit me back strong, but I'm gonna eat them up and I'm gonna go out for the knockout for this one. Let's go! Congrats, bro. I see the fight against Azael, probably going to decision. He's got a hard <laughs> noggin, so I've heard from everybody he's gone against. And you know, I don't know anyone that's dropped him so far, so if I can knock him out at any point in time, that's what I'm going for, too. Light heavyweight, AJ. Knew it. Yeah! Versus Vern. I already told him, and, and he already knows I'm, I'm going to eat that slap. Like, you know what I mean? It's, he's not going to knock me off my feet. I think it all comes down to Vern's chin. And uh, we're, we're going to find out how good it is. Thank you. Congrats, you too. Thank you, bud. AJ is a great guy. Uh, he beat Frank the Tank, so he's going to test me 100%. We're both two of the most powerful guys in the 205 division. Heavyweight. Dwayne. What? Versus Bell. We're the only weight class, a heavyweight weight class that has the coaches in the rankings. So we have a harder, longer journey to the belt. I've had all the guys at one point say that they were going to try to take me and bring me down to their level, basically. Like, they're going to take my spot, be the next head coach or whatever. So it's easy to joke when you got the self-confidence to know that you're not getting taken down. <laughs> and the main event. You're lucky it wasn't me. Darius versus Wolverine. Yeah! I've already beaten Ron three times, and I really foresee it being a fourth time, and um, it's going to be another war, you know? Me and Darius both know that we have to leave it all out there, and that's what we're going to do. Time, bro. All right, and this season, the winning coach wins a Brightling watch. Wolverine. Oh! Oh, good guy. Wolverine's team won more fights during the competition, so as a reward, we gave him a new watch, thanks to Holacek's jewelers. He and Darius really guided their teams along this journey, and because of that, Fighters exceeded our expectations. It was a bad-ass season, and I cannot wait for the finale. Congrats, man. Thank you. You should be a part of this. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you guys.
guys. Thanks a lot for being a part of this. Hell yeah, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, the power is on. From the Power Slap Arena in Las Vegas, welcome to Power Slap. Slap fighting is about to go to a whole nother level.